In this video, we will learn how to draw box and whisker plots for checking account fees. I'm Abby with NextGen Personal Finance, and we will practice drawing the plot and making sense of the interquartile range for overdraft fees. For a bit of background, an overdraft fee is when you have to pay your bank or credit union when they cover a payment, transfer, or withdrawal that you've made that is more than the amount of money you have available in your checking account. So you have to be careful by keeping a close eye on your account balance and transactions. We will be analyzing these fees by making a box and whisker plot. It's useful to create and analyze box and whisker plots because it divides the data into quartered sections, offering a visual summary of the data, allowing researchers to quickly identify the median values, the dispersion, or in other words, spread of the data, and any signs of skewness. As you can see on this image, our median will be the middle line, the minimum maximum are whisker endpoints, and the box helps break the data into quartered chunks. Let's try this example. We are given the amounts charged for overdraft fees for these nine financial institutions. We must create a box plot for the set of data, then analyze the data's interquartile range, or IQR. The first thing we can do is rank the data points from least to greatest. This makes it easier to identify the minimum and maximum, which is 20 and 39, respectively. Then we can find the median, or the middle value, which is 34. Next, we can find the quartile points. The first quartile is the median of the data points to the left of the median. Since there are two numbers in the middle here, we can find the averages of these two. 25 plus 33 divided by 2 is 29. Then we can find the third quartile by doing the same thing on the right side. And the average of these two middle numbers of 35 and 36 is 35.5. Now we can begin drawing our box and whisker plot. First, I will sketch out a number line. We can plot the minimum 20 here, then our quarter one of 29 here. We also have our median of 34, our quarter three of 35.5, and our last point, the maximum, which is 39. The last step is to connect and label our points. Let's draw a line from the minimum to Q1 and Q3 to the maximum. These are our whiskers. Then we can draw a box from Q1 and Q3. Draw a dotted line at the median. And that's our box and whisker plot. Ah, she is beautiful. We can see that 25% of the data lies in this area another 25% in this area, and so on and so forth. Our last step is to analyze the spread and interquartile range. We can calculate the IQR by finding out how wide the box itself is. So we can take Q3 minus Q1, which is 35.5 minus 29, resulting in 6.5. So the IQR of this data set is 6.5. This means that 50% of our checking account fees are between $29 and $35. Some researchers use the IQR to identify a data point as an outlier if it lies outside of the box. Here's a recap. After ordering your data set from least to greatest to identify your endpoints, you can identify the median and first and third quartile points. Then you can draw your box and whiskers to give you a nice visual of the data which you can then analyze and see where most of the data lies and how spread out it is. Go ahead and pause the video to try this practice problem, where you are still looking at the same nine banks. Did you know that some banks max you out for overdraft once, but some other banks keep charging you if you overdraft multiple times? Analyze the data for the total possible costs that these institutions can charge you in overdraft fees per day. First, order the data from least to greatest on your paper. Then identify the minimum, maximum, medium, and quartile points and draw your box and whisker plot. Now you can calculate your interquartile range. What calculations can you draw from this data? Great work on learning how to create and analyze box and whisker plots for checking fees. Continue on to the practice problems on your worksheet. You got it. 